Oh, champion Chef George here from the Georgia Live Cooking Show. In today's episode, I'm gonna share with you how to make almond milk. But before we do that, make sure you hit the link below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, let the world know, because we are changing lives one taste at a time with the world famous Georgia's all-purpose barbecue sauces, rubs, and amazing plant-based, mostly, recipes. So here we go, we got four awesome ingredients. We got raw almonds, one cup. We have a tablespoon of, of monk fruit. We have four cups of distilled water. Now, and also we have a little pink salt. Now, if you don't, if you wanna omit the salt and the monk fruit, by all means you can do that. It's still gonna be creamy and delicious. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, or you could use one or two dates, you know, uh, date, pit, uh, pitted dates to sweeten it, or you could use maple syrup, whatever. But we're just today we're, we're out of dates, so we're gonna use some monk fruit. So here we go. Hello champion, Chef George here from the Georgia Live Cooking Show. In today's episode, I'm gonna share with you how to make almond milk. Before we do that, make sure you hit the link below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, let the world know, because we are changing lives one taste at a time with the world famous Georgia's all-purpose barbecue sauces, rubs, and amazing plant-based, mostly, recipes. So here we go, we got four awesome ingredients. We got raw almonds, one cup. We have a tablespoon of, of monk fruit. We have four cups of distilled water. Now, and also we have a little pink salt. Now, if you don't, if you wanna omit the salt and the monk fruit, by all means you can do that. It's still gonna be creamy and delicious. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, or you could use one or two dates, you know, uh, date, pit, uh, pitted dates to sweeten it, or you could use maple syrup, whatever. But we're just today we're, we're out of dates, so we're gonna use some monk fruit. So, here we go. Okay guys, so we blended the almonds with the water and the monk fruit and a dash of the pink salt for two minutes. As you can see, it started to separate a little bit there. What we're gonna do now is we're going to strain it. Strain it through, strain it through. We'll probably do this a couple of times just to get a little bit of that extra. And what you're gonna do is once, once you, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just sample it right now. Once you, let it, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is do it through, the, through the, the strain one. Creamy, delicious. Let me see some here. It's creamy. What you wanna do is, is strain it a couple times because it has a little bit of the a little bit of the kind of the, I don't want to say particle, but you can kind of taste the, the creaminess. Almost like a, I don't want to say chalky, but you want to strain it. Or you can use a, a nut bag. But I don't part the fun. It's real simple, it's real delicious. Just make sure you go through, the, you strain it like three or four times. Put it in, in a, on a glass container, leave it in the, in the refrigerator for up to seven days, you should be fine. It's delicious, it's creamy, all natural, no additives, no harmful ingredients for your kiddos, and it's delicious. So with that said, you guys are awesome. Until next time, I'm Chef George from Chef, I'm Chef George, that's me, white blooper, fired up. I'm Chef George, you guys are awesome. Until next time, make sure you hit the link below, subscribe, Hit the notification button so you can get notified of upcoming videos. We do a video once a week, normally on Sundays. You guys are awesome. Until next time, fire it up. Chef George out.